Welcome back to the final segment of the ILFL Soccer Night on tonight, Monday the 4th of April. Uh, we have been talking Unity Cups, the Super Cup, we had the draw taking place, we got a rundown of the teams and quite an in-depth look into this competition. Um, let's not forget the Unity Cups don't only talk about the Super Cups, it's also about the Legends Cup. So the Unity Cups, the Super Cups takes place on the 17th of April and we have the Legends Cup taking part taking place on the 1st of May. Um, Camrus, um, my understanding is 14 teams are, are in? Again, you know, I, I, I can't recall the last time a London tournament hosted a 16 team 11 side vest tournament, so it's very ambitious. Um, Sadly, we've had 16 teams on the on the list, but two couldn't commit, so they've pulled out last minute. Um, so th if there's anybody who's uh, viewing in and, and watching the show today, there are two more places left to fill those 16 spots, but 14 have been um, sort of uh, Conf confirmed and, and paid up, so um, we're good to go, really. Uh, giving away any secrets on who those 14 teams are? We can. I mean, you know, Beaumont, Hawk and Eagle uh, are in there, Celeb, the current holders, are in there. Um, London Tigers, the finalists of last year and the holders of the year before are there. Um, we've got some very strong teams from outside. So we've got Aston Rangers coming in with their vets. We've got Oldham coming with their vets. We've got Milton Keynes coming with their vets. We've got um, Berry Park Saracens coming with their vets. We've got Luton and West End mixing in to make a team. So uh, this tournament, if anything, will be more exciting and competitive probably from than even the Super Cup. I mean. R uh, maybe I'll come over to you for this question, Rash. Um, for the for the Legends Cup, I mean, it's <coughs> it's, it's quite intense for over 35 to um, spend a whole day in yeah. a competition. And 11 aside this time, uh, they're used to the seven aside. Yeah, seven aside, vets is 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 growing in each each year. Basically, the, the success of the vets leaving seven aside has been massive, and I think uh, they're more keen than other people are interested. And 11 aside is the next step looking forward, and everyone's looking forward to it. So hopefully, this is the first year, and the interest is there. The, the demand is there and hopefully you know, this will be the first time we're doing it and it will continue in the years to come. Uh, Nanu, I mean the vets have been so much um, your, your little baby. Um, uh, what's, what's your involvement in this year's competition? Uh, well, obviously, you know, I, I do get involved. Um, all cases over 35s, you know, <laughs> I mean you're talking about the, the Veterans League, the Legends Cup. Um, Anything to do with over 35s, I, I have a hand in that anyway. So, you know, really looking forward to uh, the 1st of May, you know, when 14, 16 teams are going to get together, you know, in one place, you know, in, in, in Hackney Marshes. And it, it's a one day tournament, you know. We're seeing a lot of experienced teams, you know, and. What are some of the names, I mean? That, yeah, I mean, that, that you, well, I mean, got your hots for. we've got Reviving there as well that um, Cameroon's missed, you know, yeah, and I think sorry. he's mentioned pretty much all the other teams. <laughs> so th those are the teams that are in there, you know. And one thing that I'm sure, not you and Cameroon and Rush and everybody else who are in that scene have probably noticed is that people are much more fitter than, you know, now than they were 35. So when you hit 35, you know, you, you've kind of stopped playing for one or two years and then you're coming back into the scene, in the veteran scene, and you realise that, right, okay, I'm not fit anymore, but there's players that are fitter than me. And, you know, over a number of years, you tend to be much more fitter. So I'm talking about myself here as well. You know, when I was 35, I wasn't as fit as I am now, you know. So, and I've noticed that in a lot of our players, and the, and the general consensus is the same as well. You know, you talk to the, uh, the peers, you know, and they would, they would say the same as well, you know, I'm much more fitter now than I was at 35. Well, I, c I could never tell by looking at you, and I'm sure the audience will agree with me. <laughs> anyway, um, there, there you have it. Um, that's, that's the Legends Cup coming up. No doubt David will be carrying out the draw. If it's not next week, it'll be the week after. Um, so that, that will be it. Uh, you can probably see just coming up for, on the screen for you there, it's the premier table. Um, I just want to quickly share this. So quickly switching, switching topics now. This is how our... Um, Open Age Football, going back to our Winter League, finished up. So you can see that we had one game that was left to be played. That was played yesterday between uh, Lotus and Bromley. Lotus took the three points on that. And this is how the table finished. So as we congratulate them a couple of weeks ago, but London Tigers are the champions of that. Uh, reach out are the runners up. Um, and then Lotus, um, I mean, the result yesterday wasn't going to make a difference. They still had third place, but gives them a more respectable. They were only four places, four points away from second place. And that, that elusive... Champions Cup position, as we call them. So the top two there, London Tigers and Reach Out. Um, just to mention the bottom there, Leighton Stone and Beaumont, uh, depending on how the league set up um, next year, uh, the high chances that those teams maybe have to endure life in the first division for a season or maybe two. Because if I quickly flick across now um, and bring back up for you um, the first division, you can see how that's looking. So um, 
Crusaders, they won that th about three weeks ago. Um, big congratulations went out to them. And Ace were runners up after a very competitive game that was played a couple of Sundays ago. Um, and uh, Seoul Youth finished third. And um, the bottom two, just to mention there, Sire came straight down from the Premiership last year and looks like they're going straight into the second this year. It's been quite a dismal couple of seasons for them. Um, I hope they do have a good recovery next season and maybe bounce straight back up. Bo were a good, solid team for the last two years, but I think this year uh, too many good teams really came up and uh, it was difficult for them to survive as well. But Bo, no doubt we want to see you back up in the first division as well. So those two teams will probably be playing their trade in the second division for the winter next year. And if we stay on the screen with you, I'm going to sh finally show you the second division. And that finished, com big congratulations went out to St. Catharines. They won that a couple of weeks ago. And going up with them was Redcoat, who finished the season with an emphatic victory, such an emphatic 6-1 victory that our results say we end up having a hash on it. So apologies for that, but that's how good Redcoat were. So St. Catharines and Redcoat go up, um, go up to the... Um, First division, and as you can see there, I mean that's how the rest of the table. Well, Wolfhamstone Red Star, they'll they'll be hugely disappointed with that third place finish, having spent 75% of the season at the top of the table. Um, Fish Island, um, are one of our new teams, they may have finished in ninth place, but no doubt Tim has mentioned time and time again that he's going to be coming back with more firepower, um, and he's going to already portray that in our um, in our Super Cup in a couple of weeks. So. Those are your three open age leagues over and done with, and it's the end of the winter season. Um, Rash, you had a few things to mention. Yeah, I was going to say, we had a fixture yesterday between uh, a, a Challenge Cup uh, quarter-final, which uh, Crusaders won against St. Catherine, so they're into the hat of the, uh, they're into in the semi-final. We've already done the draw, so the semi-final's on the 24th. Uh, I was going to mention, obviously, mention the Crusaders and Ace, the League Cup final ne next Sunday. Absolutely. Uh, expecting a very... Um, a cracking game. No, you're the taking two. the words first, right out of my mouth. <laughs> first and second play in the League Cup, which <laughs> should be interesting. And the on the f uh, 15th of April, which we have Stepney versus Gao All Stars, the Interleague Champions Final, again taking place in the evening on the 15th of April. So, oh. two tournaments uh, to look forward to next. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, Rash took it right in my mouth. Just, just about to let you know. So, um, on, on next Sunday, the 10th of April, we are having the ILFL League Cup Championship taking place on the Hackney Marshes show pitch. The words have already got out on um, on Facebook. I understand uh, Ace even made their own little poster, so well done guys. But it's no doubt going to be a very crunching game. I mean, Ace and Crusaders, they had a right battle throughout the se uh, first division. Um, won a piece from their league fixture. So let's see who gets the upper hand in this League Cup final. What a, what a set to have it on. Um, the Hackney Marshall Show Pitch. Get yourself down there for 2 o'clock um, on Sunday. And then follow that, following that up five days later on, fri on Friday the 15th of That's April. Correct. Have I got that right? right? Yeah, yes. Friday the 15th of April. It's, it's going to be that special uh, interleague champions cup final for the first time in a while we may see or well, first time ever we may see an ILFL champions because it's our very own Stepney FC the champions from last year they'll be in that final up against Gower All-Stars and uh, no doubt that's gonna be a great final in the uh, it's the Silvertown not the Silvertown, the uh, Grand Jubilee Silver Stadium in uh, Northwest London um, details will be on Facebook for that um, Cameras, I, actually, I, I should probably give a bit more highlight to the Ch Champions Cup, the Interleague Championship, because it's been tough for the last two years where we've seen um, Meteors being an outstanding team and really cracked that whip. But this year, we finally managed to skim through. Well, it just goes to show the, the, the quality and the calibre of that competition. Um, I mean, when we started four years ago, Bromley were the, the first champions from our league, um, and then Tigers won it uh, the following year from the Musical Association League. And then Meteors from the Hackney Leighton League won it back to back. But this year it looks like we're going to have a new name on the on the plaque and the, and the shield. And the competition is going from strength to strength to strength. Hmm. Um, you know, uh, our friends from uh, MK Galacticus were in the final last year, and they are a very very good team, and they found it difficult against the, the, the boys from from Meteors. And the, the, the competition is what it is. It's the cream of the crop, the best teams from around four leagues taking part, and it's absolutely cracking. Whoever we'll three around, come and watch that game between Stepney and Gower. It's going to be a very, very good game. I mean, Rash, we, sh we need to give credit to the other finalists, Gower All Stars, because yeah. I mean, Phil um, from Gower All Stars has put a blinding team, and they've been semi finalists for yeah. a he, while. He, so they finally right, cracked it right got from the there. beginning. He said this time they need to go one step further because they, they were very disappointed to lose out in the semi final. So now in the final, he's, he's been serious from round one. He's putting a strong side, and the results are showing. He's, comp he's really, really hungry and, and passionate about this comp competition. And he wants to show that. He's a champion out of the four leagues, and I think Stepney, with the history and a big uh, history behind them, hopefully they can compete. And we'll never know on the day. It depends on you know who wants him more. Brilliant. 
get yourselves down there. It's going to be on Facebook. Um, it's, it's, it's rolling there. Uh, Okay, um, what I need to do is actually quickly wrap up the uh, Vets League, where um, if I can bring that back up onto the screen for you, because our Vets League is more or less over. We've got one more week of the Premier Division. So if, if you can see there, with London Tigers, sorry, two more weeks, I've just been corrected. Um, we've got two more weeks of the Vets League, and that's the Premier Division. That's how it's looking in the Premier Division. So it's not, all, it's not over yet in the Premier Division, because we have got London Tigers sitting at the top with two games yet to play and Stepney are not far actually it's more than two games four, four, four games yet to play. Yeah. there's plenty of time to go in the Premier Division man so so much to happen but yeah you just saw it there London Tigers were sitting at the top there and Stepney Legends um, only two points behind them um, and because we've got so many weeks left there's still a chance for Sire and possibly Beaumont mathematically they could still get in there so there's still four teams that could win it there I think um, when it looks at the bottom I don't know if you just recall from that screen oh we've got it back up there for you again um, the bottom there Bromley Legends they've They've, uh, even though there's four weeks left, it looks like they are probably dead and buried. And unless something drastic happens, um, I think Bromley are going to have to deal with life in the first division. And then if we have a look at the first division there, that's how it ended. Um, all the, that season's over. Weavers are the champions. Tower Hamlets are not uh, well finished a point behind them. And that was end-to-end -end entertainment. There was so much in it. And I know both teams were battling and, you know, no denying Tower Hamlets are very upset with that. And, and uh, to be honest, I was there as well. And it was absolute cracking games being played on either side of us. So Weavers are champions there just narrowly, but they are the champions. Tower Hamlets in second place, but Bernardo's there in third, Revive in fourth, and it looked quite um, real glum for Hawk and Eagle and Beaumont, and I think they played their final game last Monday, and um, Hawk and Eagle played that draw that they needed to make sure that Beaumont sits bo sit bottom, and uh, I'm really sad to say that, because the bloke on my left here, <coughs> Rash, is very upset to finish bottom of the first division. Rash, I will leave you alone, I promise. Um, I have a minute left, so I need to talk about the second division, because these guys have been celebrating. Can I please, just for this final minute, get on the screen, the second division, because Riverside have, have rang me up personally, just to look, we, we <coughs> were a dire team, we were going for a really difficult patch, but we've come back and won this, and so they have. There is the evidence on the screen. Riverside veterans uh, winning that division by four clear points, um, and, and an impeccable record, really, where they've only conceded three goals so it was the best defense out of all three divisions so well done to them uh, Mohammedan in second place there and Sire in third place no doubt those teams get, certainly pushed Riverside up there but it was well done to them Elite one of our new teams well done to you guys even though you finished fourth we know that the final four games probably got you all of your points having the first three games um, really getting used to and so well done to Elite great to have you London Tigers Vets B um, no doubt you're creating the talent to get into that Premiership team and make them keep winning things. So um, well done to them. And E1 Legends, great to have you in this competition. Um, even though you finished bottom, you've got six points. That's a respectable position. That is the Vets League. Right, I've run out of time, so I have to wrap it up here and now. Um, for those of you, you've heard all the competitions coming up. We've got finals this coming Sunday, a competition after that Sunday, UK Bangladesh this Sunday after that. There is still much, so much more to go. I, I don't even know if I can make it to Ramadan, the rate we're going to these competitions. But thanks for watching. Got to run now. Catch us next week. David will be back here and we do a few more draws and more on the football. Until then, good night.